I was, I was just telling how amazing it was because I just met uh, Al Green uh, backstage. And uh, yeah, 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 it's fantastic. But he, he, he blew me away because uh, when, when I was a kid, you know, pre-Reverend uh, Al, uh, my mom had the albums, and we don't make albums anymore. But when I was a kid, uh, I remember distinctly grabbing one of her albums and playing Flying Saucer with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I was too young to understand what that meant. And uh, I broke the album and uh, got into a wee bit of trouble. And uh, I, she probably already didn't turn the TV off. She didn't saw Al Green. Yeah. So it'd be great. <laughs> if she sees it, it'd be fantastic. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah you, don't, you don't break an Al Green record. No, you don't no. break an Al Green. And, and you know? I understand why now. But yeah. as a kid, I didn't understand. It was quite yeah. saucers. Yeah. But now, I, I, mean, I understand. You never touch it. Right. Never now. No, they're, and they're still making those uh, things in the shape of a flying saucer. You'd think they'd learn yeah. that it, it shouldn't be. In <laughs> it should that... be a warning for kids on yeah. there. Don't. Right. Uh, right. But I, I would do it anyway. Right. No. Well, uh, yeah, that's pretty exciting. And then somebody got a hug. He just goes in the audience randomly and gives somebody a hug. That's yeah, yeah, exciting. yeah. Who's that over there? Yeah, she yeah. got. She could be telling people about that for the next twenty years. Yeah. <laughs> like my little, like my little story. Like that meant something. Right. Twenty years from now, mark my words. I'm telling you, I know. Well, I, I was said when you came out. I'm a big fan, and uh, I, so. Um, Thank you for being here. Oh, my pleasure. And now, you're, what are you doing for, I keep asking people what they're doing for the holidays, I guess, because I'm just hinting around to be invited, but what are you doing, um, what are you doing for, for uh, Christmas or New Year's? Or well, you... I'm from Chicago, so uh -huh. I'm, I'm going home. Uh, oh. Oh, thank you. So I'm going back to that cold. Uh, All right. Uh, Christmas time, uh, the snow, the cold. Uh, I'm getting ready for it. You know, it's time for the. And I got to go buy all the gifts and. Are you going to ship in there? You, you, that's a hard I, thing you know, to go I, away. You ship, I, I don't know how to do that. I'm not good with the shipping. Thing. So you're bringing everything on the plane with you? No. When I get there, I shop. Oh, I so see. So I go a little early, and I, I'm one of those last-minute people that you always see on the news, what uh -huh. you're doing. I'm, I'm that guy. So <laughs> right. I'm trying to get that last thing that costs 20 times more than it's going to cost right after Christmas <laughs> right. Uh, to cover. But uh, uh, Christmas, it, Christmas has always been a fantastic time, because when I grew up, we didn't have much dough when mm -hmm. I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So uh, Christmas time, you might get that, you know, that gift, you know what I mean? Um, uh, and I, I remember distinctly that uh, when I was a kid, I got this red bike, uh -huh. this, like, three-speed truck. And you can't tell Wait, a kid. Wait, was it a truck or a bike? No, was it, no, no, no. But it, it, we called it a truck because it wasn't a cool bike. You know, a 10-speed is a cool bike. Or uh -huh. one of them bikes that you got the jumps things. That's a cool bike. What right. I had was like an old folks bike. But, but it don't... Well, but what does don't, that mean, an old care. folks bike? What well, is, it, it's big wheels. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, handlebars were, that were round out like Were there three wheels or two wheels? No, two wheels. wheels. Two wheels. But the handlebars round like that. And it's uh -huh. only three speeds. So you uh -huh. really can't get up. And to get it going, you got to be, you know, strong as, I don't know, Hulk Hogan or something. Uh -huh. And to get it going... And I learned how to ride on ice because yeah. it was wintertime, Christmas in Chicago. Uh -huh. And uh, one of my fondest memories, well, actually not on the ice, falling was not one of my no. fondest <laughs> memories. But one of, one of my fondest memories was uh, getting that bike, a red bike, uh, three speed. And I just, you know, I thought I was speed racing with that thing. Yeah, that was, and now did you know that it wasn't a cool bike at the time or did you didn't, care? No, I didn't. Look, I, you I, I got a bike. Yeah. You know, I didn't care. It didn't have exactly. what was cool to me. But you you're know? saying it wasn't, a, you're realizing now it wasn't cool, but at the time you thought it was oh, cool. Oh, no, no. I, everybody in the neighborhood had cooler bikes. Oh, I see. You know, it didn't matter though, because I would race with them. It, it didn't. Right. It really didn't matter. My bike was my bike. Wait, you and other kids were out on the ice on bikes? Well, well see, my, 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 what happened was when my dad got me this bike, because I guess that's all I was asking for, uh -huh. he got me the bike. Christmas Day, I couldn't wait to get out. He was telling I me see. da 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 da, and there was ice. There was a layer of ice. So I was riding on the bike, and once I got out there, the way my pops was, you got to finish it. So I got out there, and I actually learned how to ride on the ice. And it took me a, a few falls, yeah. a few imitations. Like, they hold you. Like, your parents will hold you for a little while, and mm -hmm. they let you go, and you don't know. Yeah. And uh, it took me a couple of those. But then I got wise, like, the third time. And when he let me go, I was like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. it was like, boom. <laughs> but, uh, I, but that's how I learned. And now... Oh. now well, you got to be good. If you learn how to ride bike on an ice, you can ride bikes anywhere. Oh, I'm fantastic. We have to go to commercial. We'll be back. I want to hear... Uh, we'll be right back after this. We are back with Steve Harris. And uh, I was saying that you look good. Now, this is big, uh, you know, like, the, it's a fashion thing. Now, a lot of people are shaving their heads because yes. it's a cool thing. Yes. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been uh, bald for about e 20 years. 20? But, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm dating myself, right? About okay. 20 years, yeah. And uh, what made you start doing that? Well, I used to keep my hair short. Uh -huh. and, uh, and then I just, uh, I made a mistake because I cut yeah. my own hair. Yeah. And then when you nick it, you got to let it go. Yeah. So I let it go. And at the time I was playing ball, I always thought I needed a little cushion in the helmet. But then I let it go and I looked, I, I looked pretty good with a ball head. Because, you, you know, you got to have a certain kind of head you do, to don't play you? that. Yeah, you can't just, 
if you make a mistake and, and, and you don't have the right kind of head, then you need to put a hat on. Right. So, <laughs> in my situation, I was very fortunate. I have discovered, though, that now I need it by necessity. Uh -huh. But initially, when I started, I didn't need it at all. Right. And, uh, and, and I will say this, because it is such a fashion statement right now, that some people shouldn't be walking around with bald heads. I know. Now, but here, let me tell you, if you got a pinhead, don't do it. Yeah. All right, let it go. You know, people look cool. Now, now I'm not saying this to be bad. I mean, Kojak was cool with a bald head. Yul Brenner was cool with a bald head. But who Guaranteed. isn't? Who isn't? But who? if your head is... No, just name somebody who isn't. Who isn't? Yeah, who, I, I who, who I, doesn't work? I, I don't know. All I right. can't really put that out there. I'll tell you who put doesn't work. Show me. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> well... Don't worry, gotta I, have some money. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work. No, you um, don't. No. No. No, and uh, no, you and don't work. Then we did Uma just to see what Uma would look like. Woo! No, we're not that different. Suddenly, all of a sudden, we, we look like we just got off of some type of spaceship together. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, then, uh, is uh, also, uh, you don't look good with hair. <laughs> That ain't right. That's not that right. ain't right. That ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, but yeah. I look better with that yeah. than y'all with bald heads. I so. know. <laughs> let's be clear about something here. You're right. Yeah, but I, this uh, is got, my hair let, on you. Let's put that down. No, you're like going to take this home with you. Um, we're so happy you're still on the practice. We Thank love you. you. The practice is on Sundays at 10 o'clock on yeah. NBC. We'll be right back with Al Green.